Many years ago, I was experimenting with a new app called Google Cardboard. And what it allowed you to do was to take a panoramic picture, and as you took the picture, it recorded audio. What was really interesting is that when you watch it back later, you put on a headset, and it's like you're there inside the picture again. You hear the background noise. It's very immersive. Everything's still, of course. It's just a panoramic picture. Um, but I, I did this at a family gathering, and um, it was so interesting to me later to put on the headset and look around and feel like I was stepping into that moment in time. It reminded me of the, the pensive in Harry Potter, where they step back into a memory. And I'll show you a quick clip of that here. I've got a headset here, so when I put this on, and you can see it's showing the two separate eyes, but um, to me this looks totally normal. And then as I look around, I'm fully experiencing the moment again, um, and that was just so cool to me. So fast forward many years later, and there's this new technology called a 360 camera. And this is one right here. And it's unique that it has a lens on the front and the back. So this records a full 360 degree panorama, up, down, every direction, and it does video. So what I've started doing is recording uh, clips of the kids, myself with the kids, um, and then I can put on the headset, and I call it an immersive memory. It's um, like I'm stepping into the video. Um, and it's really fascinating to me because you very quickly, after just a few seconds of wearing the headset, you forget that you're wearing a headset, um, and you feel like you're in that moment. So I'll do a demo of that, and here I've merged the two eyes so you can see what I'm seeing as I look around. Um, so as I turn my head, you can see the video turns. I can look side to side, down, I can look up at the sky. Um, and I have this whole video where I am able to walk with Oliver and see that again later. Um, so I think that's a really neat technology and a really neat way to capture memories. My prediction is in the future, headsets like this will be more and more common. Um, this particular one requires you to put your phone inside of it. Uh, I think this this type of thing, there's no phone in here right now, but um, this type of thing has not been successful because people don't want to take their phone out of their case, put it in there, get it queued up, hit play. It's kind of, a, it's a hassle, um, but it is neat. But in the, in the future, there's new things like Oculus and there's other types of headsets coming out that have a built-in screen and it's a much more user-friendly experience. So my prediction, we'll see these commonplace in households and I think recording video in this format is a, an interesting way to uh, preserve that moment for the future. Um, I could be wrong, maybe it's a fad, maybe 360 video is um, not here to stay. Um, after all, most of the video is not that interesting. The subject is typically in front of the camera, so you don't really need it. What it really gives you is that immersive feeling of stepping back into the moment and feeling like you're there. Um, of course, nothing can replace living in the present, so a um, more philosophical than technical, um, want to enjoy every moment, um, but this is a, a fun way to look back and remember those good memories.